my darling, safe and sound, for in this river all is found. In her waters, deep and true, lie the answers and a path for you. Dive down deep into her sound, but not too far or you'll be drowned. Yes, she will sing to those who hear, and in her song all magic flows. But can you brave what you most fear? Can you face what the river knows? Where the north wind meets the sea, there's a mother full of memory. Come, my darling, homeward bound, when all is lost. Then all this found. So good morning and welcome to this week's assembly. So as you can see, I managed to escape Mr. Golson on the little tractor, but I thought this week I needed something bigger and faster so I could escape him. And that's why I've learned how to drive the tractor this week. But I'm still keeping an eye out for Mr. Golson, but I don't think he'll catch me this time. So I hope you all enjoyed the day off yesterday. I managed to get a little bit of rest and have a day without doing any schoolwork. And I hope things are still going okay with you online. In terms of what we've got coming up this week, we're gonna hear from a number of students. We've got merit awards, we've got photo competition and so on. So we're just gonna out without any further ado, sit back and enjoy this week's assembly. I'm gonna go and cut some grass. Have a great week, guys. Hi guys, I'm super excited to be giving out some merit awards for Hawk today. So the, we have bronze ones first and those go to Habibunisa Saeed and Andela Makuka. And Andela just got her second bronze award of the year, which is very impressive. So thanks guys, keep up the hard work. Then we have a silver award for Pratap Singh, well done. And then we have a gold award for Simbi Godwe. Thank you you guys, keep up the hard work. And then we have a headmaster's award for Gemma Silver Dali and Thanks for working hard, you guys. Keep it up. Let's see some more of you get some more merits next week. Hello, everyone. Uh, this week, the honor of presenting AR certificates falls to me. And uh, it's my pleasure to announce the following awards to the following people. For Super Reader, we have Chloe Davis. Another Super Reader is Madia Sayed. And then a Star Reader Award goes to Andela Mukuka. In addition to these, we have those who have joined the prestigious Millionaires Club, which means they have read in excess of a million words. And these are Simbi Gondwe, Abdallah Omar, Richard Mugoli, and Renal Shevdas. Apart from these, we have the multimillionaire. Uh, Readers, these are read in excess of 2 million words, and these are Gemma Steele and Khadija Patel. Well done to you guys for all this hard work in terms of reading. <laughs> And now we're going to hear from some of our students. So first up, we've got Gemma reading from her current book. We're then going to have Shanti talking to us about some work, some excellent work she's been doing in literature. And then Indiana is going to share with us a chant that she's been doing in her music lessons. Great work, guys. Chapter 38, 1956, Washington, D.C. Liam and the man in the suit stepped out through the door into the rose garden, their hands raised. The smoke screen was still relatively thick out here. And through the wafting mist, he could see squads of soldiers fanning out across the lawn, rounding up able-bodied prisoners and shooting those marines too wounded to get to their feet. Inside the building, sporadic fire could be still heard. The men in dark rubber hoods and suits moved from one room to another, finishing off the last few pockets of resistance. We were asked to find a picture that represents a poem we have been studying in literature. 
When I read Muliebrity, which means femininity, by Sujata Bhatt, I was reminded of this picture from when we lived in Bangladesh. It shows all of the tasks that women have to do. It is originally called Amabu Kaj Korena, or My Wife Does Not Work, and it is an ironic comment on how the work that women do is undervalued. The picture reminds me of a Hindu goddess and the poem draws a similar comparison in describing the woman walking past the temple. Both the poem and the picture portray an elegant woman and beauty in the mundane. I took some of the phrases that were strong images from the poem, like girl, lily and crow's wings, and translated them into Bangla and added them to the picture. And now lastly today we're going to have our results from last week's photo competition before Miss Makwalele introduces the photo competition for next week. Thank you. 